glowing, sir. To Madame Pomfrey. No. Severus. Severus is who I need. Wake him. Tell him what happened. Speak to no one else. Severus, Harry. Hide yourself below, Harry. Don't speak or be seen by anybody without my permission. Whatever happens, it's imperative you stay below. Harry, do as I say. Trust me. Trust me. Good evening, Draco. What brings you here on this fine spring evening? Who else is here? I heard you talking. I often talk aloud to myself. I find it extraordinarily useful. Have you been whispering to yourself, Draco? Draco, you are no assassin. How do you know what I am? I've done things that would shock you. I would like cursing Katie Bell and hoping that in return she'd bear a cursed necklace to me. Like replacing a bottle of mead with one laced with poison. Forgive me, Draco. I cannot help feeling these actions are so weak that you, your heart can't really have been in them. Trust me! I was chosen! I shall make it easy for you. Stay on us! Very good. Very good. You're not alone. There are others. How? The vanishing cabinet in the room of requirement. I've been mending it. Let me guess. It has a sister. A twin. Borgen and Burks. They form a passage. Ingenious. Draco. Years ago, I knew a boy who made all the wrong choices. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to do this. I have to kill you. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Good evening, Bellatrix. I think introductions are in order, don't you? I'd love to, Elvis. But I'm afraid we're on a bit of a tight schedule. Do it! He doesn't have the stomach. Just like his father. Let me finish him in my own way. No! The Dark Lord has cleared the boys to do it. This is your moment. Do it! Go on, Draco! No! Severus. Please. Have a cadaver. <laughs>